Hey Aries, welcome to your monthly reading for December 2023. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to see three things that are coming up for you this month in December. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Some of them may resonate, some may not. You can also check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Okay, so... These are going to be the three things, and then we are going to um, pull tarot for each of them. So we have leave your usual social circles behind. Seek out true companions. Number nine. We also have nature is calling you. It wants to touch, fulfill, and protect you with its healing powers. And we have success and happiness and coming sorry success and happiness are coming enjoy and celebrate life and then at the bottom of the deck we have it's time for a change do not wait or put off decisions any longer so um what i see here just kind of more generally here for you aries is um i think there's going to be some like personal achievements that you're having there's changes i feel like you're making in your life uh getting out in nature is going to be important for you um and there may be some people in your life that you are walking away from or maybe even just like a group of people like this could be like maybe you're leaving a job or somewhere where you spend a lot of time so let's start with that one and see what is coming up here for this leaving your usual social circles behind for aries for the King of Wands. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. Some of you are like leaving behind a situation in order to do something like by yourself or going out on your own. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So, and we have the Five of Swords. So there could have been a lot of like stress or drama or conflict in your, I feel like there's like this sense of lack and we have two fives here, which also indicate change, like we have at this bottom of the deck here, which is also a five. So there's some sort of change that I feel like you're making here um, when it comes to people in your life, like no longer investing in situations or people that aren't investing in you back. And I feel like with this King of Wands, it's like you're taking some sense of like authority here uh, for this and really kind of um like taking the lead in it like you're just not dealing with with the bs i feel like maybe you've been evaluating this like seven of pentacles like kind of going back and forth like is it worth it to stay in this social situation maybe in a work situation for some of you as well as what i'm seeing um but it's like you're having to make a decision here around leaving something or letting something go here so I feel for some, I feel for a lot of you, actually, this is like more of your career, your job, like where you spend your day to day, um, because those are social circles, whether we, whether they're ones we want to be in or not. <laughs> um, but I do feel like there is somewhere where you've been investing your time and your energy that you're no longer wanting to. And I almost feel like you could be leaving this behind rather than it leaving you if that makes sense this could be something too i'm getting with the foxes like you're keeping to yourself right now that's something you're maybe not telling people um let's see what this nature is calling you it wants to protect you with its healing powers so obviously getting out in nature will be beneficial for you here aries um, i know at this time of year it gets harder and harder where i am just because it's snowy and cold but um I also feel like this could be doing just like in general healing work. So we have the two of wands, we have the five of wands, and we have the ace of cups. So I, I feel like this is saying taking a step back from the chaos of just life, um, the conflicts, the competition, the kind of hustle and hustle and bustle of, of life and just really filling your own cup so this could be any sort of healing work is kind of what I'm picking up. Now, for some of you, it's specifically like if you know, like getting out in nature is something that you, you know, don't do as often as maybe you should or 
that sort of thing I feel like and even that this two of wands like she looks like she's kind of like traveling right and she's outside so there could be I feel like this is you taking breaks so for some of you you could go on like a solo trip or go on a on an adventure kind of by like by yourself others of you this is like doing some healing work right it's something where I feel like you're pulling yourself back seven of swords um, pulling yourself back from um, just competitive environments again it's like you're trying to make changes for yourself another five here trying to make changes for yourself around a direction that you're going in or just like again giving yourself more time and space this month to really kind of connect to self and heal and give your fill up your cup like give yourself what you need when you need it now there is some sort of success and happiness coming here so there's something to kind of be excited about let's see what this is a, is for you aries what is this success and happiness for aries We have the Seven of Swords. What is this success and happiness for Aries? We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, and we have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, which is your energy. So again, some of you could be starting something new, especially if you're leaving a new job. I feel like you could be starting a new job or branching out on your own, like starting a business or something. There's success here though. Nine of Pentacles indicates success. The Seven of Swords I feel like here is saying you're, you've been strategizing this. Remember I was kind of saying here, it's like you could be keeping something quiet. I feel like you successfully maybe start something, but again, it's kind of, you've been strategizing things, maybe keeping things to yourself around starting some sort of newer venture here it feels monetary or again business or career some sort of like material focus in that sense but it's like you're i feel like you're successfully kind of like starting this and getting something off the ground the planning is start, you're now starting to plant the seeds and i think you're feeling really confident um and really yeah very, very secure in yourself and even again with this emperor here it's like you're taking control you're taking the reins kind of like i was saying before so you're very much in control this month of kind of how you feel and what you're working towards and i just feel like you could be really pulling your energy back from people places things this month in order for you to get yourself to where you're trying to go in your life um, making changes where you feel changes need to be need to be made here right and no longer kind of like waiting for those changes um i do see you walking away from a group of people and i feel like that's going to serve you with where you're going here um so we have forgiveness a crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent so even if things haven't maybe worked or been working the way that you necessarily like want them to i don't feel like that is really saying that you're in the wrong direction or that things aren't you know like forgive yourself for things that haven't worked or where you felt kind of weighed down by things we also have grow all flowers must grow through dirt yeah i feel like you've gone or been going through some challenges here but you're going to be coming out the other side of it you're going to feel like you're starting it's two aces here so you're starting to really make progress but it's in a way that feels in alignment with you and what you need or want to be doing for yourself and look then we have success bloom wherever you are planted so i see you like creating new places um or new you're planting new seeds to get yourself where you're trying to go here this month and I think you're going to see success but it's because you're following your heart and you're following your calling and where you feel like you're meant to go and no longer staying in situations that don't feel in alignment with you I feel like giving back to yourself with like time and space and energy and healing work and that sort of thing is going to be really beneficial for you um, and not overloading yourself and you're going to see a lot of growth when it comes to your um 
kind of more material existence as well. Not necessarily meaning like you're making more money or anything like that, but it's like whatever you're looking at building and growing in your life, you're going to see things moving in the right direction there. So that is pretty much what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully that resonates for you. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.